Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be talking about the Fenty Beauty Foundation. This is Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation, Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. Of course everybody knows about it. Not your drugstore brand, but quite affordable when it comes to considering the fact that it is still a high-end brand and definitely a lot of products have been loved uh, from this brand and I was quite lucky to try this foundation. This was actually sent from Sephora Switzerland, so thank you Sephora for sending it to me. The shade that I have with me is 280, which is my shade as you can see. It's like suits me like my skin. It's like my second skin. First of all, the foundation comes in a box like this. Fenty Beauty by Rihanna, of course, here and then the typical Fenty Beauty font. This is the outer packaging and this is what the foundation looks like. Not your curved, uh, like the circular, cylindrical or a very angular uh, packaging. This is something innovative, something which you see and you know that this belongs to Fenty Beauty. The foundation itself comes in a bottle like this. It's kind of frosted glass bottle and then you have the cap. It comes in a pump form and you get around 32 ml of product and you pay 34 dollars for each foundation. Now the shade range is huge so you will definitely find your shade. I think initially they started with 40 shades and now they have amazing 50 different shades to choose from so everybody has their perfect match when it comes to these uh, pro filter soft matte foundation the claims are that the pro filter soft matte longwear foundation gives skin an instantly smooth pore diffused shine free finish that easily builds to medium to full coverage the oil free matte foundation is made with climate adaptive technology that's resistant to sweat and humidity and won't clog pores so that Wherever you are, it's going to work on your skin and it's also considered to be lightweight and very comfortable long wear formula, blah blah blah. I have tried this foundation a couple of times before I could sit down and make a review. So the first time I used this foundation, I used it with a beauty blender and then I baked my face like I would usually and that was something which cracked it on certain areas. The next time when I used it, I just used it with my fingers and of course the application was again easy but I would suggest using a beauty blender. It just goes on like a smooth canvas. Again, I baked my face and again I had the same problem and today what I did was I just applied the foundation with a beauty blender and I lightly dusted a bit of loose powder under my eyes and just below my contour lines just to kind of um, keep that extremely matte because that's what I usually do but I did not bake my face and this is what the foundation looks like. I wore this foundation somewhere around 11 and uh, then of course I did another review of another product then I went to work quickly I came back and now it is almost 7 in the evening and this is how it looks like. Not, I did not bake my face as I told you guys but this has stayed on like so comfortable first of all it doesn't feel as if i've applied a foundation even though the coverage as the claims are i truly stand for that the coverage is medium to full coverage for me it's almost full if i did not have to highlight my face i wouldn't even use a concealer so it really covered my entire face like a wheel but still at the same time very soft uh, feeling did not really feel sticky tacky or um, did not really feel heavy on my skin so absolutely love that part very comfortable to wear easy to blend the consistency is not too watery not too thick so it is going to spread evenly on your face I didn't really find any smell in the foundation so it was just like using a product on my face without noticing that okay it's a makeup product because sometimes makeup products do have a very strong fragrance but this one was absolutely fragrance free one thing that you would definitely want to keep in mind before buying this foundation is whenever you're trying the shade and that is something which is already mentioned on the website that you let the foundation dry before you pick up your shade because this foundation does oxidize a little bit so it the first time i was trying it on my skin i thought okay this might be a little bit lighter on my skin tone but as the day went by the way it oxidized but at the same time it was not giving me this rusty brown or the reddish undertones you know it was just perfect talking about what i don't like about the foundation of course the first time i baked my face it settled in my fine lines and today after these many hours I see a very little bit of uh, cracking around my forehead that's it and this is the place which I did not even dust with some loose powder but that's only when you zoom very in and when I hold the mirror like very close to my face I can see okay there's little very little bit of cracking that's happening here 
otherwise my smile lines and around my nose everything is perfect so i would say this a long wear foundation given the fact that i've used this foundation a couple of times but still it did not break me out means that it does not clog your pores i won't say that uh, this is a foundation for dry skin beauties because this is a soft matte foundation and definitely targeting the combination or oily skin people so you might if you still want to give this a try you might want to really hydrate your face and moisturize it pretty well uh, before using this foundation and also do not bake your face like the way I did even though I have a combination skin type but considering the fact that it's winter right now and my skin is a little bit on the drier side um, the moment when I stopped baking with this foundation everything was perfect like today this foundation is also something which you would uh, like to use before photography so if you're planning for a wedding or an event or something then go for this foundation because it is very photo friendly and it really diffuses it it's literally like a filter on your face it's the performance is amazing absolutely love this foundation so that's all for today you guys and that's that was all my thoughts about the fenty beauty pro filter soft matte foundation i hope you guys enjoyed this video found it useful and if you're new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe i'm gonna see you all soon with a new video lots of love Bye.